Huh? Well, you pushed it off, and we'll get to that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rad Boys. I'm Speed, joined here with my brother, Yitch, and we have to apologize. We are eventually. back. We are... You're no, back. we're apologizing first. Oh, we're apologizing first. We missed three weeks, I think. Three yeah. weeks or two weeks? Almost three weeks. Almost three weeks, and, uh, but fortunately, there's actually a very positive reason for why Valid. that happened. Would you like to share what that reason was? Uh, I had a baby. Mazel tov. This is the best news. Everyone say Mazel tov literally in the comments right now. Uh, he had a baby, uh, very epic, uh, very cool. Well, um, I didn't have it, my wife had oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, so, I mean, obviously we knew this was coming, uh, I mean, you, usually you know when it's coming, you know, there's a preparation time, but, um, yeah, the second that happened, I was like, oh, I guess, I guess there's things more important than our podcast I'm or sorry. something, how dare you? I actually wanted to do it, it just wasn't feasible. I didn't, by the way, the second you had, you had that kid, I didn't. Like, I didn't know if we were ever going to do this again, if being perfectly I know you honest. told me, like... he has a lot of kids, a few kids now, you know? I'm saying, I didn't know it happened again. Listen, kids are sleeping, I could record. Huh? I, I'm, could we, can you tell the audience, like, that we're going to do this weekly again? Yeah, we're not stopping. We just... We oh, just started, and we're growing. Oh, uh, this is just the beginning. This They're going to be talking about this for generations. I was more upset because the last one we did, like, didn't get a lot of traction. Huh, yeah, well, not all of them is going to get traction. That's the, that's the up and down system. No, but we were, like, going, 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 then, like... It has nothing to do with nothing. anything. It's, it has nothing to do with anything. It's random. It's very random. The people all that do watch, though, are the ones that carry it, and that's what you have to remember. They're the ones that truly, they'll, they'll, they stay with you through thick and thin. And anyone that's watching this the next day, it, like, truly, like, truly enjoys us. And, like, and, like enjoys our presence we and our voice. That. And we appreciate that. But, um... Yeah, so it's been a few weeks, and actually, you were able to do it last week, but I said no. Yeah. Because I didn't think, I truly did not expect you to, I thought you were going to be out of commission for like three months, but we're here, and that's amazing. And I didn't get a haircut. And you did not get a haircut. During those three weeks. You did. You not, did. I did get a haircut. I decided to take care of myself, and that's an epic thing that people should do, including, well, you don't have to. How you much did it cost? It cost $27. We were talking about it before. Haircuts used to be like... Like fifteen dollars now they're like thirty dollars and you feel bad because you have to tip them. It's like they do twenty seven because they know you're just gonna pay thirty. Exactly, tipping is kind of. You see, like these automated machines where it asks yeah. you to tip. I don't like that crap. I'm not giving them my like like those electronic orders where I ask for like a twenty five percent tip after you did nothing. The last restaurant we went to, it asked to tip, and I was like thinking like, should I tip? Like, why not? But I chose not to. Why specifically at this restaurant? It's it's crazy to even ask for a tip, because the chefs make the food, and they're not the ones being tipped. They're eating, you know, paid on a salary. They give you a tablet and then yeah. ask you to tip. That's what's no, going we on. We ordered everything ourselves on the thing. The only thing that I guess the person behind the counter did was take the food from where the chef was. It that lunch the, place? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. From where the chef puts it down and then puts it on the other counter and then we take it to our tables. You take it to your tables. Yeah. And I actually had to ask for it because I'm like, should I grab it from the chef? Because they just forgot. Oh, it's just sitting on the counter. Yeah. Oh, my God. And they ask for a tip? They like, don't ask. But it's like it like pops up in your face and they're like staring at you. Well, what's the percentage? It, well, no, you do like it, 10, it does, 15, 20. And they don't deserve any. I'm not giving them 0.5 percentage. Yeah, no. No, it I'm just, not. Inflation, buddy. It's dude, I went to another restaurant where the same exact style where like they don't serve you. They just do the order for you. And they're literally like, oh, any tip? And like, they like stare at you. But it's like, bro, you're not doing anything. And he's, literally, <laughs> you're like, any tip, please? <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying. But what do you don't for like, when, I'm talking about. I'll like, tip at the barber order. because it's a generational thing to tip at a barber. No, it's true. No, if, if, if I'm going to get served like a, a, a meal and there's a waiter serving me for the whole dinner, yeah, I'm going to tip them. But if it's just like someone's giving me something over the counter, like. At we're, that we're, point, like, what are you doing? We're not chipping you. Uh, there's also... Uh, I was going to say... Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, no, no, please. Your video about... We did the video about the kosher snacks. Yeah? Oh, well, you got to explain. I made a video the other day where I bought every single uh, uh, Jewish kosher snack that I could find. In Ohio. I, in Ohio. <laughs> and I showed them to people on stream who don't never, don't really know Jewish brand snacks because it's interesting enough. But it was amazing was you asked, how much do you think this all costs? And it's like, it costs 130 bucks. It's yeah. crazy. And... Like well, I was, I didn't even flinch. I like thought that's like how much they. I'm just so used to that now. People like are like haircuts are so expensive. And, like people complain at the hundred thirty dollars for a bunch of snacks. Yeah, man. People complain about inflation, and I was like thinking like, don't even get me started because try buying kosher for one week. I, I was explaining that during the video. That yeah. literally, I oh yeah, like, like uh, complaining about about you know 
Inflation, which everyone has the right to do, but when you're keeping kosher, sure, yeah. in there's it's valid. You know, Inflation it is, is valid. valid. Your feelings are valid. Emotions are valid. However, 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 we have more emotions than you. More. If we're more really you. controlling the banks, we're not doing a good job. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't know. How does that do with the banks? Oh, because inflation. inflation. Okay, my fault. No, but basically. Kosher food? Because I said in the video, these people could buy meat at a gas station. I don't even I was, understand. You know, I actually know the price. How much is meat at a gas station? Oh, I, 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 not, not at a gas station, but I think... I saw this guy who's very, he's living very low class, and he's like, you could get off just fine, get me a gas station. And I'm like, <laughs> I want to do that, but I can't, because it's not kosher. For a pound of for a, a pound of beef non-kosher, I'm pretty sure I checked. I was very curious last time I went shopping. I think it's like three ninety nine a pound. How much is kosher? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. You hear that? Double seven your inflation. Nine. Imagine double inflation. That's what we're paying for. And and, and it sucks. And, and it tastes and, worse yeah, than your food. And you get what you get. And you don't get upset. Like, literally, you, you don't get a it's chew. scarcity monopoly, it's, baby. It's just like it's like there's only one type of meat that you can get. It's like, especially in Ohio. When a crappy like br- when a crappy brand monopolizes the kosher industry, that's all you get, and you can't complain because there's nothing else. It's like you'll oh, die, you'll starve. Like sometimes there will only be like chicken legs, and not like the whole chicken. You'll be like, oh, I guess we're just having chicken I guess legs. Today we're having chicken legs for seven ninety nine. Like that's what we're eating today. Like you just don't get. You don't get the whole chicken. And Ohio specifically, I was making yeah. jokes about it. Ohio always gets, we get it imported because we're not in the Jew centrals like freaking New York and things like that. So all the snacks I had were freaking dry. Yeah, all the chocolates I, were great. The Danishes are like terrible. The Danishes, it, one was really good, but the other one it's sucked. It's the most upsetting thing ever. It's very sad. I remember when, as a kid, we always got these snacks and they're just disgusting. You literally open them up and they smell stale. And they just, even if they just come from New York, but they like it's put them in the work. warehouse for like three months. Months before they send it before to Ohio. Before they ship it to they're Ohio. They're like, this is Ohio's batch. We're just going to keep it here for three months. Yeah, they're like, if we send it to Ohio, we could give them the crap and charge more because it's in Ohio and it's yeah, hard to get. straight up. Straight, straight up. So we went to New York when I finally went to New York as a kid when I was a little bit older. Oh, my gosh. And I ate a Danish. Oh I was like, my this gosh. is what the, <laughs> this, this is the best thing I've ever seen. And it's like, it's like half the price, and you're like, so... And just, they're everywhere. You just buy tons, and like people in camp are like, what's wrong with you? Be like, well, you don't understand. <laughs> it's hard keeping kosher just, you know, in, in non-extremely crowded Jewish areas. So when you're a kid, and you go to New York for the first time, and you walk into, like, a candy store, and everything... Like, people that aren't Jewish, you like you don't, you don't understand. Like, you, you, you know, you can walk into a store and just take anything. You go to a gas station. You know, exactly. Like, when, you're, when you keep kosher, it's just like... It's, like, you never even have that thought process. You always have to check. So when I first went into, like, these kosher stores in, in Brooklyn, and they have these, like, everything around me is kosher. They have the scoopers. The scooper for uh, the candies. Yeah. That freaking, it was, I mean, it was it was heaven on earth. Yeah, dude, I, I remember, like, like looking in a circle, and then, like, my parents were like, you got one thing. You got, yeah, you got <laughs> one thing because you know how it is. But, um, point is, kosher food's expensive, all how food sucks, and, um... But there was something I wanted yeah. to say, huh? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to say something. It's your birthday today to, to the audience. Happy birthday to you. It's his birthday. Um, I'll be honest. I forgot today it was... We celebrated it last night in Judaism. Basically, uh, nighttime is daytime. Basically, then that my, night my begins Hebrew the next birthday. day. It's my Hebrew birthday. Hebrew calendar birthday. Uh, and that's the one we uh, Jews usually celebrate. Not all of them. So it's different. And also, if you're really weird, you celebrate both. You're like, oh, I do both. You're like, no, yeah, you don't. two cakes. You get two cakes, exactly. Uh, so we made you a cake. Uh, well, uh, our dear mother made you a cake last second. Very like, nice, by the way. Yeah, I was like, nice. why is she coming upstairs from the basement? Uh, to eat breakfast at 6 p.m., but also we wanted to get you the cake. You it was know? a good cake. It was, it was a pretty, it's done, by the way. We finished it in a day. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, there's no more left. Yeah, sorry. I was like, my wife's like, should we take the cake? Then? I heard, yeah. And, and I, I was, was like, I was <laughs> eating it. I was like, <laughs> say no. Say I said no, because no. I'm like, maybe I'll come back tomorrow and get it. <laughs> there is no tomorrow. My favorite cake is vanilla cake. But it was marble. It was okay. Huh? Not I, gonna complain. Marble cake. I love marble cake. It's my favorite cake. That's why I loved it. That's why you told me. That's why myself and your father ate uh, the entire thing. What it's happened really to good. keto? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm on it again. Well, kind of on it. Basically, oh yeah. For those who don't know, I did. The, except for the cake. I did the keto diet for. I did it for a couple weeks, and now I'm on. Uh, I did. Then I cheated for like a couple days, and now I'm on a lesser version of it because I. I. Uh, it, it just. I felt empty inside. Like. Well, you. It che- was weird. You cheated just. I wasn't it. hungry though, but it felt empty. You cheated just long enough to eat my cake. I just long enough. Well, it's already started cheap by then. Uh, by the way, like, yeah, you cut pretty quickly on a keto diet, man. You get rid of all the, your body gets rid of all the crap, all the. Did you uh, see all huh? the packs? Huh? No, I didn't cheat on packs yet because I, I probably. That's the whole point. Huh? Well, uh, it's only two weeks. I'll do like three months. 
You're trust never, me, trust, trust the process. Gonna, trust never, the process. You're never the abs will come. A six pack summer is upon us. You never. I'm serious. You said last summer. I did say that. I've said it for the past <laughs> three summers. Three summers I've been saying that. Uh, for some reason, there's like this weight where I can lose like. I could gain 50, I could lose 50, but for some reason, there's like this plateau where I always like. It's just really hard to like get those last like 15, 20 pounds to get to your ideal. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for our family. I, I'm gonna I, prove them wrong. I, we could get six packs. Did I bet you something? Did I bet you something last summer? I feel like I did. I don't remember. I have to remember what it is, and I feel like you owe me something. Cause I don't owe you nothing. Like, I guarantee you. I don't owe you nothing. I guarantee you that. I'm telling you. you that you said a hundred times. I owe you nothing. I guarantee you. I owe you nothing. You told me before Pesach, Passover, that I guarantee you this summer I'm going to have a six pack. I guarantee. Well, it's this summer. so It's the same time. Summer's right. Summer's in three. I have the perfect amount of time to get it right you, now. You guarantee me? I I guarantee you, I'm gonna get it. I don't. It doesn't have to be crazy. It just has to be visible. Also, I don't know if we genetically have six individual packs. Not everyone has six packs. Some people only have four. Arnold, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger only had four packs. Yeah. He only had four packs. I don't see any. Huh? Oh, I see some. I, I know. Oh, I see some. I see a little <laughs> thing. I'm there screaming, you know. But um, not only is it your birthday, but also your birthday is before a holiday. Uh, the holiday of Purim. Oh, yeah. Which up. actually, this is gonna come out during Purim. Which it, is why we're, we're recording this earlier in the week, actually, because even though we missed, uh, we're still trying to... We, we could have missed three weeks in a row. We didn't because we we're the best. Us. We choose... Well, four weeks in a row. We missed Yeah, I realized we couldn't do it on Thursday, which... We usually record Thursday. Which we usually do because it's a fast day. Mm-hmm. Now, I figured we wouldn't be There's the, the fast the fast of, of Esther, who... Uh, I, I can't do the whole it, Perm story right it's now. It's part of Perm. part of the story. Can where, we summarize Perm in two seconds? Like, two seconds. 30 seconds, summarize the story of Purim and why we celebrate Evil it. Evil advisor of the king wanted to kill all Jews. Holy what? Evil guy wanted to kill Jews? Okay. <laughs> Holy rabbi, and I think it's his niece. Niece, yes. Married the king, convinced the king not, or at least let the Jews It was a whole process back. to get him to marry. Yeah. He was very lucky, fortunate. I mean, God, yes. To get, basically, to get to the king and no, tell the king. Can, can I do it? I want to do it. it well, you do it, then I'll do it better. Uh, you kept I'm sorry. Well, yeah, but you're, you're 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 yapping. Basically, married the king, didn't tell the king she was Jewish. Then, when she was married to the king, told the king, someone's trying to kill my people. And we should, like, like, not kill the people. Yeah, and he's like, who is it? It's like, that guy. And then they it killed... It was Haman. It was Haman. They know Haman. They were oh, yeah. off with Haman. And then they're like, oh, and then instead of the Jews killing, got killing, getting killed, he got killed. Yeah, so it was very Haman. epic, and we're all very, and we celebrate not dying. Every Wait, Jewish uh, freaking holiday is celebrate not dying. Then we eat. And then we eat. But why do we fast on that day? Because bef- she fasted before when? Esther, who was the queen, who, that was, that, who that was, was the, the queen who married the king. She fasted the day before she went to see the king in order to be on a spiritual level. Yeah, because spiritual to, fasting to, is a thing. To stuff. dive into God. To before pray to she God. Went in. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, therefore, yeah. we fast to commemorate that because that was the beginning of the miracle. Yeah. So that fast is on Thursday, and the the holiday is Saturday night to Sunday night, and um, but the thing is. What we do on Perm is the, is the is the fun part. The story is, I mean, it's a fun story. You read the story, like, during the day, but, um, like, everyone tells over the story, and you have to hear every individual word for some reason. It's a whole other discussion. It's but, a scroll. Um, it's a thing that there's a... You ever wonder where possibly maybe where Halloween might maybe perhaps come from? Maybe. Perhaps. You don't think Halloween stems in some way from Perm? I've never seen a connection. Uh, how old is Perm and how, how old is Halloween? I have no for idea. For those that don't know, on Perm... You dress up in costumes, like you dress up in costumes, none of these crazy costumes, well some people do, and uh, and you give, you know, snacks to people and they give snacks back to you, the whole thing is you give to each other. And Halloween, coincidentally, they got more clout though, so it may look like we copied, but I feel like, we're, where did Halloween come from? It's a Christian holiday, it's right? A, no. Based on Christianity. It is? Yeah, I, I never, so. I never heard it. Christianity, I, I don't thought see it was it. either a day, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. You I don't should know. Maybe you should educate yourself. I don't yourself. look into Christian lore. Huh? Uh, I, I, I do sometimes. Hey, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll see where I see where should things I search it up? Should I search it up? Do you know that Coke, uh, Santa Claus was made by Coke? Or not made by Coke. No, he stems from Christianity. He was a St. Peter. St. Nicholas. Or St. Saint, Saint something. One of, the don't saint, know. one of the saints. Not my religion. But, but, so, but, but Coke was what helped make it popular because Correct. they put the Santa Claus on the sodas back in like the 20s, yes. 30s. Correct. Yeah, so they like made it, made Santa big, and is Co- if and that means Co- is Coke owned by a Jewish guy? I don't know. I'm saying that'd be funny, you know. I feel like recently, like every time something comes out, they 
blame the Jews, which I know is not new. Ah, victim mentality! Victim mentality! You're not allowed to complain anymore or else it's victim mentality. No, it's not victim. It's just the people are blaming the Jews about certain things, and I'm like, I don't think so. For example, they're banning TikTok, allegedly. Oh, yeah. And they, they're saying a Jews buying it or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that conspiracy. You know the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, I saw that there's a Jews buying it, and they're going to they're gonna control the narrative of this Middle East stuff the, on there. And... No, the whole thing is ridiculous. So Congress... The, the House of Representatives passed the bill to ban Chinese owners from owning TikTok. That's yes. all it does. Not the app. Not Mark Zuckerberg sells her data to China. And he's a Jew. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, but the whole thing is, the reason people are saying Jews are the ones causing it... The, hold on. I'm so confused now. Yeah, you suck at talking. I'm the best talker. No, it's just... I, huh? I just realized that the whole logic makes no sense. Well, they, finish your point and then explain how it makes no sense. They think that it's APAC, which is a big lobbyist firm that's pro-Israel... Is the one that pays convinced, politicians and stuff. Yes, pays politicians. Sponsors it, it, politicians. Is the, ones, <laughs> is the ones that's pushing this ban, which a it just happens to be not true. But then they think that's because the biggest. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. They think also because the largest owner, one of the largest owners, stake owners in TikTok is actually a Jewish guy. It happens to be. But then why would he want it to get banned? He's, he's, he's pushing against it. Uh, maybe he thinks he could take it over or something. I guess the whole conspiracy is we're gonna try. To, they're gonna try to push Middle East politics. But if you look at TikTok now, which is TikTok's, currently, TikTok's so so big, I don't know how they'd use. That's the only conspiracy reason. because it's TikTok shows a lot of. It's actually pro Palestine mostly on TikTok, so therefore, APAC's trying to ban it. I guess that's a conspiracy. Oh uh, yeah, no, one hundred percent. That's one hundred percent what it is. But, but I see. Yeah, I've, I've that's already talked about. It. But the biggest stake no, owner, I mean, but the biggest stake owner who's fighting against it is is a Jewish person because they own the. Like, and Mark Zuckerberg's like, Jewish and his platform has anti-Semitic stuff. I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's, it's all stupid because all these all these rich Jews aren't even religious, so it doesn't even freaking make a difference. They just happen to be Jewish. It's all stupid at the end of the day. It's all stupid. Everything's the, stupid. The second thing I saw no. that the blame of the Jews on in the last week. You saw hate. What's going on in Haiti? He fallen. Haiti. Haiti's like the Greek, like the god of the. No, the world. Haiti, the country. Oh, Haiti. No. Yes, I've heard of that country there once. There was a... What is this? Tsunami and earthquake? I don't know. It was me. I did that. Okay. No, it was me, yeah. I jumped up and down way too hard. But apparently, they're trying to like rebuild it and have like normal p- politics there for a while, but it kept failing. And apparently, it's like completely just like corrupt now, and the leader has has ran away. Oh, it's one of those? Okay. And, and the gangs have taken over. Mm-hmm. And you, said, you heard the, the head gang leader? His I, know, name, I know nothing about this. Oh, it's crazy. Okay, please. The head gang leader, so the head gang leader has taken over the country pretty much, and his name is Barbecue. Nice. Because he likes to burn his victims alive. Oh, reminds me of something. Okay. And then allegedly eats them. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, kind of gross. But they're also blaming that on the Jews. So I'm like, I don't get it. How huh, maybe there's something? Yeah, because did you look into it? Yeah. You always gotta look into I it. I did look into it. You know, you gotta at least hear them out. I always hear them out. Because the richest man in, in Haiti. Who has been the richest man for the last hundred years is a is a Jew. A Jew. Is a, well, of course they a billion, are. A billionaire Jew who might be involved in the corruption of the country. Maybe he is. It doesn't mean Allegedly. anything. But listen, listen. But this guy's not religious. The, There's nothing my, to do. That's the whole point of it. Whatever. Maybe maybe there is corruption. Maybe the guy happens to be Jewish. But yeah, they always. And you know what? Maybe there's fifty of them. And maybe every single one of them happened to be Jewish. Still has nothing to do with their religion. That's all. I, and that's all I try to preach. That's all I try preaching. Maybe they're all Jewish. Maybe. Maybe. But at the end of the day, none of them are religious. Or maybe... And who gets attacked for it yet? The religious ones. I know. The Hasidic ones. I they s- get attacked for it. Stupid. You should be attacking these guys. Yeah, how about you do that? I saw... A real- I don't condone violence. Somebody, there are these fake ultra-Orthodox Jews on X. Do you see them? These fake accounts? They pretend like the ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jews like us, and they post, like, crazy things, I guess, like... I don't know. They post like anything, everything against what you think an ultra orthodox Hasidic group uh-huh. posts. Yeah, and they're they're bait accounts. I mean, it's just to yeah. get traction and so, get. So somebody views. posted and, and he's, he was so right. He goes, "You think that we don't? We can't tell if you're fake. Like, you don't have." I could, no, I could spot a goy from a mile away. <laughs> from a mile away. <laughs> nah, no, it's, yeah. not because like their bios are so like cliche and they have like, like if you actually are all, all the orthodox. Ultra Orthodox, like you know, they put like yeshiva and different yeshivas in your bio, like right? so some Hebrews. Uh, exactly, yeah, but they exactly. always—it's always like random weird stuff. Jew but, Twitter is probably the 
such cringe lowest it, form it's of starting to pop up I my need, feed. I need a because they're they're learning, they're adapting. The Jews are figuring it out. The religious Jews are starting yeah, to figure out to Twitter. Figure out. I'm trying to I wanna I wanna monopolize it. I wanna monopolize You G don't Twitter. have a big following on Twitter. I don't have a big following on Twitter because I think I could though if I truly if I really tried if I started replying everything and started like getting like baiting people to get mad. Half of Twitter is just saying something that is objectively untrue just so it gets a bunch of views and yeah. you get more followers and then the people that know you're joking remain with you like that's usually how twitter works but so literally so you just lie on there and get attention that's really how my it main works. feed now TikTok. is just nfl content exactly because we like nfl antonio brown has his own like a uh, network now news network oh cts c-t-e-s-p-n <laughs> C-T-E- <laughs> but, well not everyone knows what c-t-e is maybe they do yeah it's concussions it's, a, it's you get concussions so many times that it affects you in life later obviously and it's, it's called c-t-e and it makes y'all I don't know, it just makes you act weird and stuff. Makes you brain damage. Like, I don't know. He's low-key funny because he makes fun of himself. So he low-key has CTE, actually, and it's mainly caused by one of our dear Bengals players <laughs> who, uh, who did that. Vontaze Perfect. He whacked he him. He completely just the playoffs. whacked him in the playoffs. Lost the game, we would have won the Super Bowl. Lost the game, would have won the Super Bowl. Uh, regardless, though, so he always says random crap, and he made a new... Now, now, whenever he says random crap, he just adds... CT ESPN because this is his funny little shtick that he's doing. No, but he's been right about a few of the some transactions. Things, some things. Some things. Didn't Le'Veon Bell make an OnlyFans? I said it, that the other day. Yeah, is that real? I'm pretty. I might, I'm pretty sure it's real. But he, he's a, he, he's a running back that was on the Steelers with Antonio Brown actually, and he made an OnlyFans. We always hated him. Every every person that played on the Steelers does suspicious things after they leave. Really? They also suck after they go to another team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's they, a they, known thing. Steelers players. Never survive. They, they never do good outside of their system usually, which is actually an interesting thing. I don't know how that works, but um, there's uh there's a politician for the TikTok ban. You know, I forgot. I don't know if he's a governor. Do you know Jeff Jackson? He, I don't know people he's saying. a politician. I wouldn't know him without TikTok. No one would know him without TikTok. He's a politician who who. He was one of the old guys who used TikTok to help him in his campaigns and stuff. And I'm relatable because I'm on TikTok, guys. Look, I can speak with you in an authentic voice. I but uh, he was one of the people that voted on the TikTok ban. To ban it? Uh, to ban it, yeah. And everyone switched up on him. And I think he also has, like, Apex sponsors as well. So everyone just completely he lost, like, a bunch of followers. And he made an apology video. I think it was very it was very, very well scripted. But everyone saw straight through it, you know, because it's just how it is. Because he still voted to ban the app. They're not going to ban it. It should get banned. It should get banned because it's sucks and it's, degener- and it's degenerate. That's why it should get banned. I don't care about China. They can yeah. have all my information. It's literally making the, it's literally ruining our, like just making our attention span suck and making us, and making stupid trends go viral, causing people to do stupid, stupid things. That's my problem with it. Yeah, and they banned me 10 times and uh, and then they ask me, help us, we're getting banned. Yeah, womp womp. Yeah, I'm not helping you, buddy. So you went to APAC. They don't care about their creators. So you went to APAC. I went to APAC, them. they gave me millions of dollars. Joined yes. them, and now you're, go- see, now you're going to Congress. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yes, please, my man. We've been speaking about this, obviously. Now I've been, we've been going around We have not been bought out yet. We'll let you know, though. We'll let you know. I'll, honestly, I'll let them know. I don't care. I'll break it. If I get bought out, I will let them know. Like, I, I feel like, well, game res- doesn't game respects game. Like, they can understand it if you get bought out. Yeah, like you like like I can understand. Like you like be honest. Like you you'd get it. I feel like you know. I feel like if politicians would just tell you they're bought out, we'd respect it. Right? Like hey, like I'm voting on this because because I've been paid lots of money for it. Yeah, I feel yeah. Transparencies gets it gets you a lot. You'd be like hey, like yeah, sure. Point is the audacity of TikTok. Literally, I was scrolling and it said, "We need your help." Yeah, Yeah, and I'm like. The audacity! They TikTok owes me money. They owe me a few thousand dollars that they never freaking paid me. Do they have to? Huh? Officially? They don't gotta do. Don't, they don't gotta do nothing. No, but, but when you make an when you make an agreement and you, I have to accept shit. No, but they banned it. But huh? They banned you, so therefore all the I have a banned banned. account that has like a thousand dollars in there. Yeah, so then you can't something. get it because you got banned because your content's hateful. How co- content's hateful? Yeah, well, freaking TikTok gets banned. They they had first off, it wasn't hateful because I made another account. To, of, and everything was fine. I was getting mass reported, by the way. I realized looking back, that's what that stuff was. Why? Huh? So the initial this is this is gonna get a little based, but um that I've been banned many times, but there's one ban where it was a it was a factory. My entire phone got banned, and that caused all accounts linked on it to get banned. And um, it, I mean, it happened when I was speaking about uh about Jews getting hate crimes in New York. Which is pretty weird. Like uh, you saw that recorded video. It's yeah, a, yeah. It's still. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show that once I have more motion. You know what motion is? 
Motion is the new word for clout. It's, it's the new word. Get it with the kids. It's the new word. I'm telling you. I'm telling Bro, you. I invest, can't listen to invest any, in the word motion. I can't listen to any of your live streams or videos because I speak in too much words you don't understand. Yeah, you speak in like half sentences. I speak in I speak in Gen Alpha. You're not gonna understand. No, but is it like do people like is that a thing? Motion? Like, do you sound weird when you talk like that, or are you sounding normal? I just don't I'm know. I'm sounding. <laughs> I am sounding normal to like people in the in the. 13 to 23 age range, which you're not in, you just turned 20 something or whatever, late 20s, so the, you wouldn't understand it. Your mind is just, you're, you're not even the same realm as me, you would never understand. I was getting, I was getting at a point which I completely forgot. Do you remember what it was? What? I was saying something before I said, oh yeah, there's a video of me literally saying, because the Middle Eastern conflict goes viral every, every couple years, respectively. I mean, literally, like, it's, it happens every few years, and and this is the this was is the biggest one that got that got coverage. But it happened a couple years ago in 2020. Uh, another whatever the situation was, and so the second that happened, I was instantly getting uh, just a lot of hate for no reason because I literally have nothing to do with that. As we know, I'm from Effing Ohio. Um, and I was making a live stream talking about that people unrelated to it were just were getting got jumped in public. A few guys that I knew. Um, and then I got banned during that. During that live stream, my phone got the factory ban, and I got an email when I asked for what the reason was. They said it was violent extremism. That was that was, and they wouldn't specify. And the only thing I could, the only thing I could get from that was talking about that was violent extremism. Uh, I, I didn't speak anything related to the conflict, just about people that were getting attacked. Allegedly. It could have been so. It could have been I was getting mass reported. Just oh. by that's that's what I assume it was, but I never they would never unban me. They never gave me any proof or anything. So when they have the audacity to come to me three <laughs> years later after a blatantly very very if there's one time I'd throw the word anti-Semitic and I don't like throwing that word around because everyone throws it around too much. It's, a Jewish. it's that freaking situation right there because that was hella weird. It was literally right when I said it that my entire phone got banned. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna support your stupid cause. Go die away, young app, stupid app. I'm gonna Reels is better anyways. I'm not even kidding. Instagram Reels has better content. Allegedly, now. the president of China himself was the one who banned. He was right. It was freaking what's his name? <laughs> Xi, Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. That guy. Yeah, he freaking. It's him. I have something to say to him. Do you know the? I don't know if the CEO or China said that we'd rather we'd rather delete the app, delete the app, sell. sell it to America. <laughs> yeah. You know. I don't think they're going to sell. You want to know why? America is actually only 10% of the demographic. Did really? you know that? It's mostly like India. Huh? India got banned, actually. Oh, yeah. No, India's banned. India yeah. got banned. So the, 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 the trend now is what's going to be that next app? Because there used to be an app called Triller, which everyone was almost going to migrate to back in 2020 when it was first going to get banned. Cause really? Gonna, yeah, because it was almost going to get banned back then. Never heard of that. Yeah, Trump is gonna ban it. He's no, like, I, I I'm gonna that. ban TikTok, and and now he says not to ban it. No, I thought because that. Oh, he's so you're right. He's freaking so you know weird. Why? Allegedly, it's because that. He's that, like, it would have been banned in a day. No, it's was... because that Jewish donor it just gave him a lot of money. Perhaps. 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 He, maybe the Jewish. Uh, allegedly. 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 Allegedly, the owner might happen to be Jewish. Does he happen to be Jewish? Trump just flips on everything. He listen. Yeah, I mean. That's he the says, game. That's he, the game. He talks he a lot. He wanted, by the way, he did want to ban it two years yeah, ago. No, I remember. I remember hearing Trump say, we're going to do everything in our ability <laughs> to like ban. I remember him saying it. I was did, I was doing TikTok. Didn't he want Microsoft to buy it? Huh? He wanted Microsoft to buy he it? He wanted Microsoft. Uh, there's a company named Oracle that I think. Oh, yeah. I, remember that. I think they ended up acquiring some of it. But if that didn't, did, they, did it just not end up going through? Because if so, then they would still own it right now. Is Trump on TikTok? Trump's not on TikTok. Yeah, so why does he care? He's not even on. He's not even on Twitter. He's only on Truth Social. Yeah, doing his funny <laughs> tweets. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he doesn't use Twitter. He gets so much more attraction. It makes zero sense. Because he, he has he, boomers he, running no, his he, social medias. I think he owns a large stake in Truth Social. That's it's not going to get big though. It's just a rip of. There's nothing uh, that's going to make people download it. It's nothing unique about it. Maybe if he actually becomes president, he'll go back on Twitter, and then he should go on Twitter right now. His one tweet, right when he got the mugshot, got yeah. freaking. How many views? I didn't look at it. It got like a few hundred million, a few yeah. million likes. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, but I like, like, I mean, if he was tweeting there every single day, he'd get so much traction. It makes, he literally, he'd be in the loop. No, it makes the, no sense. The issue that is, I think his advisors are telling him not to because when he does post things that people could see, he says he, stupid stuff yeah, a lot. Yeah, so people don't like him. Yeah, but the haters will just take it from Truth Social and put it on no, there but, anyways. but it's not as amplified, so you don't see it as I much. get it. Uh -huh. Like, people are not following him on that app, and they're not seeing every crazy post he posts on there. TikTok is gonna get extremely, extremely political in the in the months to come. I remember back in 2020 for the election, oh, the months yeah, before the months before it was the most divided I've probably ever seen a group of people in my <laughs> entire life. Imagine, like you probably have arguments with your friends about politics. 
Imagine, like, just the app. Every scroll is a completely different narrative, and they're all yeah. telling you different things. And I have Robert Kennedy who's jumping in the mix and all of his stuff, and it's everyone. It's he looks way too good for someone his age. Oh, you are, are you confess? You do what you want to? Are you no? Just uh, <laughs> just very interesting thing. Interesting thing to say. I don't know where it's just. No, he's very strong. What happened to it? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad you like that. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you like that. No, What's with, what happened to his throat again? His voice. I think he ha he explained it. He has a he got a thing right from the thing thing. It's just it's random. It's like a ra I don't know if it's random. It's from an accident or something that it's it's like a mental thing. The problem is, wouldn't they like just kill him or something if he got into like a position of power or something? Because like, like that's what they did to all the other. Yeah, yeah, like, saying, oh, like you know, like, most likely. I mean, Aaron Rodgers oh, might be his. Aaron Rodgers, might the be quarterback the, for now the Jets, might be the vice president. Might be his vice president, and it's funny no, because therefore the vice president, the though, vice president, if they win, which is funny. It's funny because every whenever there's no more football, Aaron Rodgers always finds the craziest <laughs> off-season <laughs> distraction to do. I think yeah, it was COVID before and vaccines. Like play freaking football. His job's play football. You, you know, hundred million to play. Football. You know who doesn't, Joe Burrow, which Joe is Burrow, why... Joe Burrow, glorious king. Which is why this is the year. This is why this is our year we're really going to win it all. We have the protection he won't get, be jumped Trent in Brown, the pocket. Trent Brown, Orlando huh? Brown Jr. Yes. Trent Brown. Alex Capo, Ted Karras, and... Uh, we got rid of all the weak offensive linemen. Weak <laughs> protectors of our quarterback. The they worst were guy on our team. I don't forgot his name. I don't even want to remember his Jonah name. Williams? Jonah Williams. Jonah Williams. He went somewhere. They paid him like they paid 20, him? 26 just, million? He robbed them. The Cardinals. They paid him 20 million to freaking be an open... An open door. And, and they and they said breaking news when the, when the <laughs> signing happened. And I, I left a comment on that. The only thing breaking is all their limbs. <laughs> I thought like... Like he's like... The Bengals? They drafted what? him in the first round. Oh, was he the one who who? Uh, no, 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 no. It was no. some other guy. It was something. Uh, yeah, we got rid of him. It was something. We I'm Spain. It was Quinton Spain. I remember. I, I don't forget. I'm pretty sure he was the one that like he got sacked. Well, we have to explain some context here in the Super Bowl with the Bengals and the Rams. Uh, it was the last down. It was of our last chance. It our was, last chance to do anything, or else the game's over. And. Um, so, uh, one of the wide receivers were open for a potential touchdown, but Joe Burrow got sacked because um, he had no time to throw the ball. He got tackled, and because uh, they had he had no people pr blocking good protection, and now we do, and we're the best now. Now we're sad, but now at least we, we got a little taste, mm -hmm. so we know how to do it. Again. I by the way, I predicted this year. I predicted twenty twenty five after that Super Bowl loss. I predicted twenty twenty five is when we're winning the Super Bowl. There's no reason. I hate all the hype when like they they sign all these. Good players, to other just teams. for just for them, just for it to not work. No, it's stuff. not. A, the Bengals have always are consistent, and we didn't make these huge things because we're, we're consistently we're good, pretty consistently good. But you yes. have like the Steelers sign like Russell Wilson, all these big guys, or you yeah, have big Kirk cousin, Kirk cousin stealing. The, like, the Falcon? No, no, no. Kirk Cousins is underrated. He 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 could have been MVP this year if he didn't get injured. And the Falcons are one hundred percent going to win that division now. Fine, I'm telling you. No, but he's. They had Desmond Ritter. He was he was the quarterback for for UC actually. No, yeah. but Kirk Cousins has made like one. He has one. He's won one. One playoff, playoff win. Game. Yes, one playoff. And he win. just signed a hundred eighty million dollar deal. Yes, yes, he did. Straight up crazy. The Falcons need a quarterback. No, they, he, they they have that underrated. amazing running back. No, he's underrated. But I hate like when they like the Falcons sign him and they're like, "Guess we're winning the Super Bowl," or like they signed Russell Wilson to the Steelers. I guess the Steelers. they got him for what? How come they didn't get him for one million dollars? Maybe he just truly isn't that good. No, it could be one. He only wants to go to the Steelers. Russell Wilson's getting paid. He gets. He pretty much gets to choose which team he wants to go to. Exactly. Oh, so he just want. He just want to go to the Steelers. No, but like I, they make these every time over the off season, they make these huge signings. They never pan out. Like they never pan out. Yeah, they, no, they signed the Broncos. Initially signed Russell yeah. Wilson for a quarter of a billion dollars, and the Broncos had a good team. All they really needed was a quarterback, and they got this great quarterback. Russell Wilson was doing amazing. Instantly sucked on the Broncos and had it's a losing season. It's a lot of teams that do that. They make these big spots. Like the Chargers did it one year. No, they never. They, With barely, they, they signed all these big name guys. All the their whole defense plus a few wide wide receivers, which is why they have to cut a bunch of people because they're like over the salary cap. At the end of the day, defense wins championships. That's all I've learned. Because the Chiefs who won the Super Bowl, they have a terrible offense this entire year. But their defense, Patrick Mahomes overrated. Their defense. Carried them the entire the entire True. step of the way. Enti their defense didn't the entire season hasn't let more than like uh, they've been averaging like seventeen 70, points. Right, yeah. Seventeen points a game, but the Bengals, which is some very very the low. Bengals resigned Bell, 
Who got, who the Bengals got our D some good defense guys. Who got there. us back to the, who got us to, to the Super Bowl? He, Plus our rookies are low key. They're low key, but also they could finally develop properly now that we got like good guys that are, that are going to be in the thingy. I'm very excited. Uh, I love football though because not everyone knows about football. Do you actually think though that TikTok will legitimately get banned, or is it just like all talk like it was back in 2020? I think they're going to change the bill a little bit, and I think that they will because. Joe Biden. You think it's actually going to get banned? Well, you, know, B- you know how big that is if it actually gets banned? There's a billion people using that, so maybe, 200 million a day. You're right. So, There's millions of so businesses. Perhaps, the only reason I would think that you it would... You saw Mr. Wonderful, wanted to, wants to buy it. Really? Yeah, he he's said, funny. I said, I'll buy it. So much business, because he's greedy, you know? He'll all freaking buy That's it. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but... He'll team up with Mark Cuban, maybe. Joe Biden said he would sign it. So, he said, oh, sign whatever the bill. So, yeah, yeah so the Democrats... Are also on board. Uh, I don't know. If, if if it if it goes through, uh, who's it going through? No, now it's going through the Senate. So if it goes through the Senate, then it's, it's then law. it's then it's law. And how hard is that? It, they have to get sixty votes, right? Sixty, I think. And yeah. how do you know how many they have? Or sixty-five? Do we, do we know how many they have? Uh, they for sure have fifty. Like I think Instagram Reels is much better. Anyways, I'm not even kidding. I started watching more Reels recently. They just have more. TikTok became way too PC and like. Just brand friendly. When you scroll on TikTok, every single scroll is an ad or they're selling you something or click the link in my bio. I ain't clicking the link in your freaking bio. I'm not clicking <laughs> your stupid bio. I did that. I did. I was. I knew about that meta when no one was doing it. The links in the bios and stuff like that. I should like get, live streaming. I have. I deleted Instagram a long time ago and I never downloaded. It again. But you have TikTok. No. Oh, okay. Well, if you're gonna have TikTok, you might as well have Instagram and uninstall TikTok. No, I don't have TikTok. No, I'm saying that you don't. So it doesn't matter. I just have YouTube Shorts. You watch YouTube Shorts. That's literally that's literally why like you're like why you can't understand what I say. Actually, if anything, you should know exactly. You should know everything about Skibbity Toilet if you watch if you watch YouTube. It shorts. doesn't come from my feed, huh? But that's literally it's been made on YouTube Shorts. Skibbity Toilet. How can you not? Yeah, but I'm you, not need to, you need to te- educate yourself on the lore, I'm buddy. Tw- I'm not 12 years old. Uh, and, you know, there's actually very intense lore. What you follow, it's very epic. Do you know why I deleted Instagram? Do you what? know? I no. I had Instagram when I was like a teenager. Uh huh. And. In I Jewish was, community, it's like if you're like religious, you don't really have Instagram because it's like not like appropriate and stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's like, also wasted time. You're supposed to be learning. You're supposed to be learning. Yeah, learning. Yeah, that's what they do. So I had it because when I got older, like my friends had it, and uh, I was curious. Rebellious, having an app on your phone. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to see what people were doing, like you know, people posting like what's going on, like you know, things are doing in their lives, and I want to post a few things too. Might as well share it with my friends and family, but I didn't realize that I, I was so naive because I'm an I was like an idiot. When it came to social media, I didn't realize that it was meant to. The whole point of Instagram was like to impress people. I what do you mean? Was, I thought it was legit, like post your life, but you don't necessarily have. That's to post. what it was initially. But even when have you I ever seen these it, old celebrity posts from ten years ago? That's really what it was. I know, but it, when, even when I was on it, it was like started to become like you had to get the perfect picture. Yeah, you had to get the perfect background, the perfect place, and everything's amazing and life's smiling. Or, life's great. Were people making fun of your pictures? No. Well, well, but po- you felt it through the comments. I would post just, I would be somewhere, but oh, I want to post this, so I'll just take Here's a picture. Here's a picture of me at this place. Yes. I'm at this place now. Here's be, Instagram. No matter how crappy, I don't care. I would just post it. Look, I am here now. And if you want to see it, great. If not, you can scroll. Well, Anyways, you're at a private account, right? It's private, yeah. I'm saying. So Anyways, freaking... so then like someone, not going to mention who, called me and said, take down that last picture. I said, why? He said, it's so gross. Like, not like, in a, like, not like weird, just like, it was like blurry and like just terribly taken because I didn't care. And he said it's like it's an insult to Instagram. And I it's said the worst, the most shallow thing I've ever heard. Yeah, How dare you so listen? I was like annoyed. Like, now your insecurities gave in. Yeah, I was like, bro, like if you don't want to see it, then don't see it. Can you reinstall it? And I want to see those pictures. No, I. I, I, I actually have the pictures, but I deleted my account. Aw, uh, damn. Then, and How then, bad could the picture have been? Did he like cry looking at it? Well, should I show it to you right now? Uh, if, I mean, if it doesn't take too long. But... I, I will. Maybe we'll send it. It's, uh, I'm, dude, in a, I'm another in like time. A, I'm another in like a clown wig. Okay. Well, it was during Purim. Yeah. Or, no, it's it like It's a different holiday. Different holiday. Always a holiday. I'm but dying. and then after that, so that was strike one. And the strike two was I, I was in school with a bunch of kids, and one kid posted like, "This was the best Passover ever." Like he posted a picture on Instagram, like whatever, who cares? But when he came back to school, he told me how much he hated Passover. So just oh, like you're saying you didn't like the fakeness of yeah. people pretending to have fun and enjoying life. So I'm like, that's like yeah. it's a dark abyss of hell. Yeah, oh. it's like I want to see people's lives and how how they're doing, but I don't want to see like a fake version of their lives, which is what Instagram is. That is what it is. So therefore, I was like, this is it's stupid. True. I don't I'm want so see much it. more happy on there. Look how happy he is on that Instagram. <laughs> you oh. look really happy in all your I'm pictures. I'm so happy. Yeah, at all you can see your mom from here. Huh? See my what? Your mom from here. My mom. That's one of the pictures. 
Here's dumb oh my god, that was like three years ago. I remember that. That's the, that's the last time I saw a picture of you on Instagram. My first picture, okay. My first picture on Instagram, it was me. It, my first pictures were pretty damn casual, man. It's just me next to like a wall taking a selfie. That's fine, but you're, I'm sure it was like normally taken. I, I just did not. Yeah, eventually I got nicer all. pics. My friend's a freaking photographer. He took free pics for me. And guess what? I do social media. So yeah, I should have a nice pic. I should have a nice freaking profile picture. I am you gonna... saw my new profile picture on YouTube is much more realistic. You saw my new yeah. profile picture on YouTube? Yeah, I was like... It's like it, me yelling. Like, is this one of your like, alt accounts? I couldn't tell. Oh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> You're like, why is there a verified check next to the, for this stupid profile show you. picture? I still haven't saved my Instagram Is it in your favorites? It's going to take too long. I, no, no, no. Be give, waiting. Me, give me a count to five. One, two, three, four... You literally suck. No, you literally, the retention has dropped by 50%. No, you're leaving right. by the second. No, you're right. I can't find it. You're not going to find that. Uh-huh. Oh, the, well. the, the, the fact, though, that someone was insecure enough in themselves to say that to you, but you're also insecure enough to listen. Uh, I didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I didn't listen. Oh, it was a strike. It was a strike. So what was strike three? It was just two strikes? Two strikes, you're oh, out. Two like strikes. That's, that's not how the game works. I'm so annoyed. I can't find the pictures. Okay, Spriggan got to be very distracting and rude to the lovely people that are watching. Sorry. Yeah, to, uh, waited I would, if I find the picture, I was going to post it, and trust me, it's a yeah, I don't sight. Feel, I don't feel like editing that it's thing on this thing. It's a sight to behold. Uh -huh. It was like in the corner, like my face, like you couldn't, the shadow was so heavy, you barely could see me. You could just see like... Were you like eating flesh or something? Like were you... Well, no. Was, I, you're I, like I an took, animal? I took a selfie like in the corner of a huge room. Cause I want to show, like I want to show, I took a selfie like where, basically we ran this huge program where there were thousands of people, and I was one of the people running it, so I took a selfie trying to get everyone in the shot, because it would have been impressive. No, very impressive. So the only way I could get it was to go to, like, the stairwell in the corner, but it turned out there was terrible lighting, so you could, like... So you had a bad lighting picture, like and it a, looked weird? Like, like a blurry picture, and, like, you could barely see my face, and... The type, of, pi the type of picture you get of a UFO? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, so the guy said to you, and you felt bad. Speaking about UFOs. Oh, okay. I, I got a telescope. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, let's talk about this for a bit, yeah, 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 what about it? I got what a telescope, stupid I, telescope, I want to see the stars. Happy birthday telescope, it was a birthday telescope, right? Yeah, how do you know about that? Because I think I heard. Yeah. I think <laughs> <it's awesome. laughs> oh, no, I did, you really talked about it yesterday. <laughs> I, no, I didn't know, I had no idea. For what you're some about. reason, the men in our family like space. Oh, yeah, and you made fun of me like I'm like my grandfather. I make, huh, because our grandfather likes space, our father likes space, and I liked space since I was in, like, fourth it's grade. Like, it's a slow transition until I'm just my grandfather. Huh, exactly. No, but I got the telescope, and I'm going to see the firmament, and I'm going to tell you. You're going to see that? Oh, you're going to finally, <laughs> the flat Earth will be shown. How, wait, how good of a telescope? It's, it could see Jupiter, I think. Wait, is it like a telescope? Yeah, like a, it's like. Like, like a full, like. Yeah. Like, like in a, like, how, well, I'm not going to ask how much, because that's rude. But I mean, like, no, it's it's, but like, it's a telescope? <laughs> it's, it's ones I can see. Or is it like a pirate telescope? No, 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 I can show you a picture. Huh, okay, fine. I can but, show you a picture. Uh, no, you no, no, you're not showing me the picture because it takes you too long to find pictures. No, no, no. I can, look, it's right here. Hi, huh? you're think you're you're on your your mobile right now. <laughs> you're you're on your banking right. No, no, no. Oh, it's this. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks like a telescope. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. pretty big, thick. It's I'll like send the white. And now you're gonna edit this picture. I'm not editing it in. It's a big telescope. I'm not telescope. editing it. No, it's a big telescope. Huh? It's a big telescope. It's a big white telescope. They can imagine what it looks like. It looks like a freaking telescope. It has a stand and you and you're like. But also, there's a solar eclipse happening. Oh yeah, that's what I want. That's what I thought you were gonna talk about. I'm very excited. <laughs> we're very excited. Very excited. Very very excited. Because we live in Ohio, it's Ohio. actually pretty close to us. So, I'm for sure going. I've been planning this for at least. I remember. Eight years. I remember when you were talking about it because there's a solar eclipse years ago. Yeah, 2017, 2018. Whatever. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Maybe oh, later. it was 2017. Yeah, it was 2017. And I was in New York and I couldn't go and I was so pissed. So I said. Yeah, we wanted to see the aliens hide behind the moon. That's right. So I. I I looked up and I saw the next one. It's going to be near Ohio. I remember thinking, I'm like, will I be married and will I have moved back to Ohio? Will I be able to go? <laughs> that was my thought. And it, and, and you I, and I got you married. You detailed and everything I, accordingly <laughs> yeah. so that you could be there for the stupid eclipse. Got married. I moved back, and now only to go see this eclipse. And I'm gonna tag along. And I don't have to do anywhere. <laughs> I don't have to do any of that. I have it all planned out. The only. We're going to go there, we're, we're going to cry. we got to pray that the weather Good is weather. It's, it's going to be like a five minute, like like at its peak. Yeah. Like as long as it's been like You're going to get years. emotional, you're going to cry. I'm going to cry? Bro, okay. No if you want crying. me to. Yeah, no, be... you got to do like a whole session there. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably take pictures for my Instagram. I'm going to show everyone how happy I am when I get a dirty <laughs> solar eclipse. It'll be really good. You're supposed to see like behind the sun. 
Right. Yeah, the aliens. The yeah. aliens. That's where they the, the firmament. firmament. Yeah. I, the, the firmament. Will, you'll finally see the firmament. You'll see the stars. Every time SpaceX puts out a launch, every time it hits the top, you see. A, it you like, see the like, liquid. You saw yeah. the video. Yeah. I knew you see. You can't deny that video looks weird. It looks like it's in water when the no, water. It's the just, sun hitting against. Yeah. The... Yeah. Where's the sun? I don't see the sun. It's not there. It's nighttime. There's no sun. It's on, to you. It's on the edge. Huh? The edge of the firmament. The edge of the firm. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's on, no, no. It, it's like this. It's going like this in the dome. Okay, buddy. Not educated. You, you know, you're making this seem like it's a big joke. What are they gonna and do? I don't when they, <laughs> what, are they, what are you gonna do when the band TikTok and no one can back you up? Huh? <laughs> Listen, I, I, lots of educate. I did learn that from TikTok, so maybe there was <laughs> maybe there was a point to that. But uh, we're gonna see that it's in, uh, it's in April. Yeah, it's in yeah. April. So you know, maybe you'll see us there if you if you also go there. But I'm excited to see that. My one, plan is to go to a, a remote location where no one is. Yeah, good luck. I know. Everyone, everyone, ha- everyone has a spot, and it, and it's all the same spot. It's wherever we could drive to the fastest and get into the furthest because it's gonna be a lot of traffic. Mm-hmm. That's my plan. And it's gonna be amazing. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I appreciate y'all for watching. Once again, sorry for the non-consistent uploads, but we're literally back. Uh, back. The Rad Boys are back because we're so consistent and love giving you so much content. And this is this is gonna be something, man. They're gonna speak about this these days. We're gonna be out of this stupid basement, and we're gonna. I don't know, maybe see sunlight for once. I don't see sunlight. Uh, 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 download Spotify. Watch all the episodes. Uh, literally smash like, subscribe, goodbye.